Welcome to Girl Upcycled Studio. My name's Kelly Weiler, and today I'm going to take you through the GNOME DIY paint kit. So we are going to start off by painting the top of the little gnome's hat. I will be using all of the DIY paint products today. That is from Debbie's Design Diary. This particular color is called Summer Crush. It's a beautiful spiced orange kind of a shade and you're just going to completely cover the hat. We're going to move on to the body of the little gnome now and I'm going to use a color called Old 57. It's a beautiful bright turquoise. Again we're going to do full coverage um, on the belly and the back of the gnome. Um, we're not going to be painting the nose or the beard or the hands right quite yet. I'm just going to do full coverage Next, I'm using a color called Prairie Gray. Beautiful, beautiful, earthy kind of a shade. We're going to cover the beard area with that. And again, we're going to do full coverage. In your kit, you'll have um, a couple of brushes to choose from. You can just basically use whichever brush is more comfortable for you. Next, I'm using a color called Cowgirl Coral. Paint his little nose and his hands. And there you have it. We're going to let that all dry. And when you feel like it is dry enough, we're going to get the white shade and we're going to paint some little daisies on the hat. Um, in order to get the daisy look, you want to press a little bit harder at the beginning of the petal. And as you come towards the middle of the flower, you're going to lift up on your brush. You are using the rounded brush for this. You should be able to get the technique shown if you follow those directions. Next, I'm just taking my finger, dipping into the white, and I'm just kind of dry brushing it along the beard. And I put a little dot on his nose for a little bit of highlight. That has dried, and now I'm going in with the Queen Bee, which is this beautiful golden color. And I'm just using my fingertip, and I'm dotting right in the middle of each flower a little bit of that mustard color. Next, I'm going in with a color called Fancy Farm Girl. And we're going to just put a little bit of greenery, some leaves. Have fun with this part. Um, you can do vines if you want to. Um, just have fun with it. And there you have it. That's completely painted and all the colors. Everything has completely dried very, very well. Next, we're going to use the chip brush provided, and we're going to apply clear wax all over the gnome, the hat, and the body. You'll want to do a nice full coverage. And what this is going to do right now is seal the paint, and it's also going to put a barrier down so that when we put the next wax on, which is a dark wax, it won't grab and it won't get too dirty looking. So we're going to cover both the top hat and the body portion with the clear wax. You want to just go light on this. You don't want to press too awfully hard with your brush because your paint hasn't cured um, for very long. So um, I always like to go in just with a really soft touch when I'm doing this. And by all means, if you feel like painting the inside of the, the little gnome, you can do that after you're finished. Just make sure you have enough paint to complete the inside. Um, now, our last step that we're going to do is using the dark wax. Again, we're going to use that same chip brush. And if you notice, I'm just kind of lightly spotting it around the entire gnome here and there. 
a little bit goes a long way with the dark wax. You can kind of play around with it. I usually start with less and add more if needed. Um, it's, it's easier to add more than to remove it. If something happens and you do need to remove anything, you just simply reapply clear wax and you can kind of use that as a little bit of an eraser. Again, you're going to go really light with the brush right now. Um, you don't want to remove any of the paint. It's still not fully cured, so keep that in mind. Next, we're going to take a paper towel or a lint-free cloth and we're going to go very, very lightly and we're going to just lightly wipe a little bit of the excess of the dark wax off. Do not press very hard when you're wiping. Remember that the paint has not fully cured, so you don't want to accidentally wipe any of the paint off. So just very, very lightly, you're going to wipe it until you kind of get it to the consistency that you like. And that is really the last step. Like I said, you can go through and if you want to paint the inside of it, you're free to do that with anything that's left over. But this is your finished look of this sweet little gnome. I always encourage you to go off the cuff and do your own designs as well. But I was pretty pleased with him. I think he would be really cute decorated for Christmas too. And there is a little mushroom. We do have a mushroom kit that is made to go with this little guy if you care to do that one as well. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find all of the DIY kits at my website at girlupcycledstudio.com.